Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to yet another day of me trying 31, 31 new eyeshadow palettes. Um, I know we're yet again one day behind but um, December has been rough to me. Like yes, no, Monday I ate a piece of like Christmas bread and I'm allergic to some nuts, not all. I'm not allergic to almonds, which are always in there, but apparently this one had some surprise cashews. And normally I'm very good with reading the packaging, but this time I really just like trust it. Like the fact that it's never in there and then I was wrong and I needed to go to the hospital and I had to be there for observation for like four hours or something. So, um, yeah, I didn't really have the time to, uh, well, I did my makeup that day. It was the Rude Cosmetics palette, but then the next day I had to, like, rest for the entire day. And, uh, I was super tired, so I just slept through the whole day, so I didn't really, like, uh, have the energy to do my makeup, but today is a new day. We're feeling a bit better. Uh, my eyes are still pretty puffy, I think, personally. Um, but we're gonna make it work. Especially, like, this part, like, the upper part, is a lot more, um, you know, mushy and, like, normally doesn't hang over that much and now it does so we might have to kind of think different with doing the eyeshadow but we'll see um today what i'm gonna be using is the kaleidos quad look at how gorgeous this is like this packaging is beautiful it's like a fabric um and it's the flowing haze quad so it's like the more like neutral of the two that came out at that point it's like purpley grungy purpley i would call it and we're gonna see if we can make a beautiful look with this i am scared because it kind of feels to me like it's this is similar to that um grungy greens that we've been talking about before with the um what was it gimme glow olive palette so I'm scared that these will also look kind of muddy on me, but we'll see. We're just going to start. We're going to get into it and we'll see, um, you know, how the shades work and if it is actually going to turn out to be a little bit muddy or if we're all just going to be fine. What I do think I'm going to do, because obviously I have to go places today, um, I'm going to start with the darkest shade because most of the time that's what works with like more of those kind of palettes. So just to be sure, I'm just gonna start with that darkest shade. Wow. That looks beautiful. I'm just gonna blend that into that like true, true crease right there for my ginormous part of my eye right now okay it's not that bad but i do feel like i'm a little bit puffy around the eyes that's really nice that blended beautifully i'm gonna do another layer put it up a little bit higher to get a little bit of that smokiness actually you know visible that's beautiful so far I'm pretty impressed already, like, these shades had the potential to be very muddy, but so far they blend beautifully and they show up beautifully and very evenly as well. Like, these dark purple-blue kind of shades normally have the tendency to be very, very patchy, but this just blends out so gorgeously. This brush might be a bit too big, actually, to get it to be super even, but let's just blend everything out. And now I'm going to take a little bit of a smaller brush. Where are you? And I'm going to see if we can apply that 
darker shade literally in the crease with that my eyeshadow faces aren't the most charming ones but to be honest who who's who wow can i talk nobody really has a charming eyeshadow face that's what i wanted to say So I put it in the crease, as you can see, it's, it needs some blending. Now I'm going to blend it out again. I don't think, like, people are going to maybe think like, wow, this palette takes a lot of time. I don't think it does. I just think I spend a lot of time because I want it to be perfect. But, like, before this, it was already very good. And you could have done, like, the eyeshadow look would have been perfectly fine. But I just wanted to see... Since I'm trying out this palette, also for you guys, I just wanted to see how smooth I could make it out to be. Okay, now I'm going, I'm going to go into the next shade, which is the, this was the accentuate shade. And now I'm going to go into the diffuse shade with that same big brush. And I'm just going to put that over and see how we are going to, how that shade is going to do. That's beautiful. See how that just, like, okay, this is so stupid, but I wanted to say diffused to look, which is literally the shade name. But that's what it did. It really just, like, made the look more soft and blended. And now what I'm going to do is the last step, I'm going to go into that base shade. And I'm just going to blend the edges with that shade. Hello. So I'm just blending out the edges, blending everything into one another a bit, like making it a little bit more diffused. I think that's nice. Okay, what I want to do now, because I really want to make that shimmer shade pop, so I'm going to take a little bit of the darkest shade and just apply it on the eyelid. What I'm going to do, because I can't get close enough to the lash lines, I'm going to take a liner brush and I'm just going to line my eyes with that shade. So I'm just lining my eyes with that shade and now I'm going to go back in and just apply a little bit more of that color. And then I'm going into that diffuse shade and just putting that kind of in the inner part and blending it out. Like that. So we have a solid lid to put on that shimmer shade. I'm just going to blend a little bit more into the crease to make it a little bit more even. It is also the fact this takes also a little bit longer because I genuinely feel like I have a different eye shade today. So you need to work different to get like a good look. But still, we're like, what, nine, 10 minutes into the video and we have the, the look almost done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my tried and true glitter glue, ah, that brain, um, and 
I'm just going to put this glitter glue on her eyelid. And now I'm going to take that shade Radiate, which is like the shimmer shade. And I'm actually going to take it here. Ooh. You guys, wow. I didn't expect this. I expected a beautiful purple shimmer, but this is like a sort of a duochrome-ish situation. How beautiful. I put it on a little bit higher so that it's also kind of on the crease a bit because I think this is a shadow that calls for that kind of look. And I'm just gonna like tap it on the outer corner a bit so it's kind of blended. But also not too much this is what it looks like i hope you can actually see how great this looks i'm going to show you this is like a like and a pen it looks like a purpley gold shifty shade but then on the finger it looks even more like it has pink and gold and gray or like purple and gold and gray and then on the eyes it just looks like a bright bright purple with like like almost like fuchsia ish it's really gorgeous um and now comes a part where people might like this i'm going to tell you one like little not as great point about this palette no that's not how i want to bring it um now i'm going to tell you something that might be a thing for you for this palette I personally wouldn't mind, but there's no inner corner highlight shade in this palette. I personally don't mind because I always bring my Elf No Budge eyeshadow stick in the shade Pearl, per Perfect Pearl, with me everywhere. So I can easily just like be like, boop. Oh. I can easily just like put this in the inner corner and be happy with everything but if you're really like a person that needs to have an inner corner in their palette then this might be a thing for you where you might not like the palette as much again personally i don't mind um but if you do that's fine too and then this might be a reason for you not to buy the little quad but i do have to say you know it's a quad how much shades are going to be in there i like that you have one metallic and three matte shades um i like like an even ratio but this for me is even enough to you know make me happy and um the eyeshadow stick for me is is a great way to uh complement this look so this is the eye look i'm going to put on some mascara obviously i like uh how it looks so far like let's try and not ruin it by putting on mascara and putting it all over my lid as i sometimes tend to do This is what it looks like. So, mascara is done. Okay, let's round up this palette. I might put on a darker lip later because I have like a Christmas dinner. But for now, I think this is, um, the eyes are bold enough. And um, 
for just my normal work. Um, so let's talk about this palette. This is the box. Obviously, this is the palette itself. Packaging, 10 out of 10. I mean, gorgeous. This metallic piece and then the fabric. And it like, actually, I don't know if you can see it, but it stands like on top of it. You have the name on the back. I believe that's not the case in the other palettes. There is a difference between this one and the other one in packaging because there's a little more, more a little bit more green in the other one's packaging. Um, and then the inside. I would have loved for it to just have normal shade names, but I totally get why they did it like this. It's a nice, like, fun size palette. It's not too big, but also not too small where you can't get your brush in properly. It has a nice size mirror, which I'm not going to show you because I'm going to blind you, but... It's just the same size as this, just a tiny bit smaller. You can flip it over, which I kind of like when I'm doing my makeup, so it doesn't like stand up all the time. It's compact. The shades are gorgeous. Um, they are actually very workable, even though I was scared that it might not be because they're a little bit grungy. I had no problems with them whatsoever. If you like this kind of color story, or even if you're like wanting to maybe try this kind of color story, I definitely recommend this palette. I'm happy that I have all four of the quads. This is embarrassing, but I do. And this is the first one I tried, but I'm very like um, curious. I'm very, very excited to use the other ones because if they're all as great as this one, I mean, then I'd be pretty happy because this one is really great. I think the eye look is gorgeous that we made today. And um, yeah, I'm actually, I'm pretty happy. I'm a good, uh, I'm a happy person today. So if you like this palette, I would definitely, definitely recommend it. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but great, wonderful little quad um, packaging. Yeah, I can tell you a hundred times over that I really like this, but I really like it. So we obviously have to see how it holds up during the day, but I'll tell you that in my ranking of the 31 days, which is coming closer and closer and also more like colorful and like grunt, like smoky palettes are coming in now that we're going towards Christmas. So I used, I, kept some of the most exciting palettes to me for last um so don't forget to watch all the coming days of 31 days of me trying new palettes and thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell down below don't forget to like and comment if you want to and if you like this video and thanks for watching this next you know, episode, and I'll see you tomorrow for uh, tomorrow's new video. Bye!